So back to our patient. She's been hospitalized in the PICU for over 48 hours and re has received a significant amount of blood products. The critical care team has noticed that she has increased ventilator requirements over the last few hours and on exam, she has developed bilateral rails. Natalie, what are you worried about now? In a patient with acute onset of pulmonary edema after transfusion, it's important to think of both TACO or transfusion associated circulatory overload and TRALI or transfusion related acute lung injury. Let's talk about each one. TACO occurs in about 1% of blood transfusions and is a transudative pulmonary edema related to increased hydrostatic pressure in the lung capillaries around each alveolus. Patients who are most at risk are children less than three and those with cardiac failure, renal impairment, or fluid overload. TACO can be prevented by limiting transfusions and anticipating volume overload. Other findings in TACO include positive fluid balance, increased VMP, usually greater than 1200, and increased pulmonary artery pressure, usually greater than 18 millimeters of mercury. TACO responds well to diuresis. So the other side of this picture represents trolley, which can initially be confused for TACO, but has a different pathophysiology. Howard, can you tell us a little more about it? Uh, sure. Trolley presents similarly to TACO with new dyspnea, tachypnea, and rails within six hours of transfusion. Trolley typically occurs after FFP transfusion due to a two-hit phenomenon where host neutrophils are primed by their illness and then transfused with donor antibodies. Trolley is an exudative protein-rich pulmonary edema with an incidence of 1.8 per 100,000 transfusions. Patients with trolley have normal pulmonary artery pressure and should be treated by ARDS-NET principles of low tidal volumes and permissive hypercapnia. Trolley does not respond to diuretics.